now that we are done with data validation and data automation now let's look at data import and data export right so for import and export salesforce provides something out of the box for both of these use cases for data export we have something called the data export wizard so i just typed data export here and under data you'll see something that's called data export right so if you want to export your data you have two options either you can sh uh, sh schedule an export if you click on schedule you can specify the start and end time and you can derive the frequency and you can include what object do you want to export the data for right similarly if you want to export it immediately instead of sh uh, scheduling it if you want a snapshot of your data repository in the org right now you can just click on the export now button all right so under export now you have an option to select all data or you can select specific objects right so you can just go ahead and click on account and then you can click on contact let's say based on our use case we can click on contact i'll just quickly find contact is right here similarly i'll just also find covid count so these are the three objects that i want to export right so i've just selected these three objects and i can just say start export if you want to you know include the attachments and images you can just check these boxes but i don't think this is relevant information for us for now and we don't have any such information you can just click on start export right so this export process starts and once this is completed you will get an email notification to the email that's associated with this particular user right and once this is done you'll get an option to download from here as well right so while this is queued let's look at the data import so for data import salesforce provides the data import wizard right so this is a limitation the limitation is um, you can only have or you can only import up to 50,000 records at a time through this data import wizard all right anything more than that will need a third party uh, import wizard which is a data loader or uh, you know some some different command line interface to import data but if it is up to 50,000 you can use the data import wizard easily all right so here before using the data import wizard let's create our data import file right so we'll try to import some covid count records right so let's add our column headers Right, so I've just created four records and I've just entered these information for now active cases, deceased, recovered cases and entry date. Right. And here we'll also need something that would be the contact information, right? The primary contact information, the master detail relationship. So here let's just associate Andy Young. Let's just type in Andy Young's name here for all these four records. sheet is ready i'll just export this as a csv file let's click on export and i'll export this csv and let's click on next so this has to be a csv file i'll call it covid import data let's export it all right now we'll be using this sheet to import using the launch wizard right let's refresh or let's just go ahead here so you can click on the launch wizard here and then the wizard opens up and here you, you have option to you know select any of the standard objects or any custom object right under custom object we have the covid count object right now so we can select this and then there are multiple options that come in either if you want to insert new new records entirely you can click on the add new records if you want to update existing records you can go ahead with the, with the second option and if you want to you know add as well as update which is kind of an absurd statement you can use the third option all right here in this case we'll be adding new records so i'll just click on the add new records and here i'll select the csv from my desktop all right so let's go to the desktop and let's add this covid import data csv cool alongside this you have some options available here right so there's match by then there's which user field which contact field so here all the associations or all the relationships that are present in the this particular object are available here for you to choose a mapping for so like you saw that we added a contact name right because that's the master detail relationship and it is a mandatory field without which the record won't be inserted so it's asking here which contact field in your file specifies the master detail now we could either have you know added the 18 digit ids or we could we could have added the name so what we did was we added andy young as the name right so i'll just select the contact name here so that the import understands that the contact name is the field that they want to match with the master detail all right and here there's nothing for matching because we are creating new records similarly for user we don't need to define any specific user the current user will be defined as the owner 
all right and then down below if you have record types in the system you can select a specific record type and insert the record so i'll just select delta variant one and i'll just click on next right and in the next section there comes the mapping section so you see already the recovered cases is automatically mapped and the entry date is also mapped but these three fields are not mapped so what do i do i'll just click on the map here and here the total active cases should be mapped to the active cases field the deceased should be mapped to the total deceased cases and contact should be mapped to the primary contact person field right so this mapping is nothing but the csv header will be mapped to the specific field in the of the object level right so now if you see you are seeing the snapshot of how the data would look like this is how it would look like and then i'll click on next and this will say that you have mapped all the five fields if you don't map any specific field that's okay that particular value won't be you know captured on salesforce even though it is present on the csv file so the object is covid counts you want to add new records and this is the csv file and you want to map five fields right and then you can click on start import now this internally starts starts a bulk bulk load and then if you click on ok here you'll be able to see the progress so if you see the interesting thing to see here would be this batch right here you have the request you have the result and it says this this is the amount of time it took and it processed these four records and all the four records failed which means that the records have not been inserted because there's some kind of failure that has happened right so to understand what has happened we can click on the view result and see what's the issue with our csv file so you see here it's saying required field missing primary contact person but i think we added this information right let's see what what has happened let's go back to the data import wizard and i think we matched it by the name right so let's go to custom objects covid counts add new records and here which contact field in your file specifies the relationship it is the contact name all right and then let's select the csv one more time it's still saying the four fields four records are failed let me just check the request as well as the response okay the primary contact person field is empty i don't know why let's go back let's check our file covid import data is here let me just this primary contact person Or let me just go ahead and use the record id maybe that helps just to demonstrate this ideally it works with the name parameter also let me just go ahead and check so the primary contact person is a contact right let me just use this okay maybe that record does not exist at all the one that i used export to csv So all I've done is I've just mapped the record ID of the contact here. All right. So now if I just go ahead and check, let's try to do it one more time and hopefully it should work this time. So let's go to the data import wizard. Custom objects, COVID counts, add new records and this time match it by the salesforce.com ID, right? This is what we have inserted. And here it should be delta variant one. That's fine. And then let's go and select the CSV. COVID import data final. Next. And here now you see the primary contact person is mapped automatically. There should be active cases and there should be total deceased cases. Map and then let's click on next and start import. Fingers crossed. Let's click on OK. And this time all the four records have been processed and they have been successfully inserted because there are no failed records. Right now if I were to go back to my COVID count object record and you see the four new records have come up here. Right. So there was some issue with the name, but uh, the salesforce.com ID also works fine. The name also works fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what was the issue. Let me just quickly go back to contacts. And if I just search for all contacts, is Andy Young part of this contact? Okay, there's no, no such person called Andy Young. That's why it was failing. All right. So that was the issue. Cool. Now this is about the data import and there's a limitation of 50,000 records and let's go back and see if our data export has been successful now, right? So if I go back to the data export, 
you'll see that there was one export and it is successfully available you see the file size is 5.5 kbs and it is it has a link to be downloaded so if i click on this download link all the information that i wanted to export the entire uh, metadata information is available here all right so this helps you know during backup or you know any kind of a repository cleanup or sync or if you want to migrate data in all all such cases you want this uh, data on your excel or you know spreadsheet and you can just take, ex take an export of and you get the snapshot of your current uh, data in salesforce all right so this was about data import and export wizard